So in this lecture, I will explain the no-load condition of a DC motor and also types of DC motors. No-load condition of DC motor. So on no-load, on no-load, the shaft torque is equal to zero. This does not mean that the motor is at halt. The motor is rotating. Yes, the mo motor is rotating at n not RPM on no load. See, for load increases, the speed will be decreases. Under no load conditions, it will be rotating with some speed. The motor which draws a current of uh, IA naught, this is called the armature current. Armature current at no load condition armature current at no load condition so what is the armature current equation i a naught is equal to v minus e b naught by r a where e b naught is equal to phi z n by 60 into p by a this is n naught why because n naught is called the no load speed where e b naught is also is also back emf under no load condition under no load condition what is an armature torque equation armature torque is equal to 0.159 into phi z into ia into p by a so if it is under no load condition the ia is ia naught and the torque which is produced is also ta naught and once design is over this is constant Number of conductors is also constant, number of poles is constant, number of parallel paths is also constant. TA naught is directly proportional to flux into IA naught. The flux which is depends upon the field current. If you are maintaining the field current is constant. And IA naught is maintained as constant with the help of a this equation, right? V minus E B naught divided by RA for a particular value of speed under no load condition. For N naught, E B naught is constant, TA naught is also constant the ta naught is to meet the last torque yes or no what is ta is equal to tl plus tsh and this will be zero under no load condition then ta naught is equal to tl and this initially some force is required to produce the or to meet the friction and windage losses to work on this we require some force, some power is required. And anyway, what is the power formula? Omega into T. So this is T F or T L. So this is P naught. Then T L is equal to P naught divided by Omega naught also. Okay. So power developed in an armature. Power developed in an armature. Power developed in an armature under no load condition under no road condition under no road condition e b naught into i a naught e b naught into i a naught okay to overcome the friction and windage losses so i'll discuss some sample problem a four pole lap winding dc motor has 540 conductors its speed is found to be 1000 rpm when it is made so when it is made to run light so light means uh, this is under no load conditions the flux per pole is 25 milliweber 25 milliweber it is connected to 230 volts dc supply <clears throat> armature resistance is 0.8 ohms calculate induced emf and motor means it is a back emf and ia and third one is uh, stray losses 
and fourth one is last torque so under no load condition means this is ev naught and ia naught the solution for this one is yes, number of poles is 4 number of poles is 4 and it has a 540 conductors its speed n naught is equal to 1000 rpm the flux per pole flux is equal to 25 into 10 to the power of minus 3 weber i told you so many times now most of the students they commit a mistake instead of substituting 10 to the power of minus 3 they are directly substituting 25 then you will get the wrong answer and supply voltage V is equal to 230 volts and armature resistance is 0.8 ohms so how can you find the EB naught EB naught is equal to 5 ZN naught divided by 60 into P by A that too it is a lap winding A is equal to P so 5 is 25 into 10 to the power minus 3 the total number of conductors the total number of conductors is 540 and the no road speed is 1000 divided by 60 so this is 4 by 4 I think 60 by 9 ok so 25 9 is a 10 to the power of minus 3 and 1000 will be cancelled that should be equal to 225 volts yes the first bit is covered then IA naught is equal to V minus EB naught by RA V is 230 minus 225 divided by what is the armature resistance that armature resistance is 0.8 so this is 5 divided by 0.8 so 5 divided by 0.8 that should be equal to 6.25 amperes 6.25 amperes now what is the third one so we can have a stray losses p naught is equal to e v naught into ia naught that is 225 into 6.25 that should be equal to 1406.25 watts and loss to torque so if you understand the theory this problem is very very easy EB naught IA naught divided by omega naught so 1406.25 so divided by omega naught is 2 pi n naught by 60 2 pi into 1000 by 60 then finally you got it as 13.428 newton meter and this is about the no road condition of uh, DC motors. The next one is uh, types of DC motors. How many types of DC motors are there? So we have DC shunt motor. We are not prefer the separately excited DC motor. Why? Because uh, we require additionally two supplies. So DC shunt motor, DC series motor and third one is dc compound motor in this we have based on the connections long shunt connection and short shunt connection also we have and one more cumulative compound motor and differential compound motor so these are called the types of dc motors so we'll discuss one by one in the next lectures. Thank you guys.